Welcome to the IO Platform's Captive Portal Builder. This video will provide a brief demonstration on how to create and publish a captive portal using the tools available within the IO Platform. For any additional information or support, be sure to visit the Platform Support Portal located above. The initial window in the Captive Portal Building tool is the portal setup, requiring users to provide a name, language and default language for their captive portal. Depending on the volume of international visitors to your venue, you may wish to choose between multiple languages, keeping the default as a prominently spoken language for your country. It's not required to assign a venue at this point, as this can be completed once the portal has been built, or not at all if you wish to save the portal as a template. To move between this step and any of the ones following, use the dot and line bar located at the bottom of the portal, or simply click next. The second step in constructing a captive portal is choosing a template. To help you begin, we have provided some pre-built templates with designs suitable for varying venues. Below these designs is a location for any saved templates you have built, allowing you to access them quickly for future use. Choose a template and click Next to progress to the building tools. The next window is the new user portal builder. Using this tool we can construct the captive portal seen by users when they initially connect to the network. To add content to the captive portal, drag a widget from the right side panel to the portal preview located on the left. For a list and description of all available widgets, be sure to check out the support portal. To remove the content block, click the bin icon located top right of any active widget. To change the fields in the registration form, click the panel displayed in the preview. This will open the form sign-up requirements in the right display where you can tick the included data fields and if they are mandatory or optional. To make changes to the background of the template, use the Theme Settings panel located top right. From here you can make changes to the imagery for mobile and desktop in addition to the inherent textiles, form elements and buttons. Following the new user window is the return user where the same design and building process can be applied for a guest reconnecting to the Wi-Fi network. To enable progressive profiling, place the return user widget into the captive portal display. You can then edit the requested data and include any additional fields to the return user form. Or, to activate frictionless login, click the appropriate field located at the bottom of the page settings panel. Once the user has completed the required portal login process, they will be redirected to a landing page in order to initiate the session. This can either be a simple page built in the portal, or a URL where they will be redirected. The building process for a page is similar to the portal, and that widgets can be dragged from the right panel to the left preview. The final step in the process before publishing is reviewing the captive portal. In this page, you are able to check the overall content for the portal and edit any core components before finalizing. Once satisfied that everything is correct, the portal can be published or saved as a template for future use. For any more information, be sure to check out the IO Platform Support Portal located above.